My name's David, and over the last 10 years of being a classroom teacher, I have had so much joy working on whiteboards. I've most recently found the beauty and joy of digital whiteboards, specifically that in Fig Jam. Let me go ahead and show you, or at least a smaller version of myself in the corner. Sure thing, full screen, Dave. Well, what you're looking at is a Fig Jam. This is also a Fig Jam. Even this cute little nugget of a first grade lesson is a Fig Jam as well. This is a Fig Jam 101 video for K-12. And in today's video, we're going to cover what Fig Jam is, how to navigate a Fig Jam, and key features you will need to know. So what is Fig Jam? Fig Jam is an online whiteboard that is absolutely free for education. That's right, you teachers and students never have to pay for it. And I believe that even through this video, you're going to get to see how Fig Jam can redefine your collaboration experience. Let's go ahead and have a tour. Let me show you how to navigate around a Fig Jam, but something very important is missing. Let me zoom out here a little bit. Voila, we have the toolbar. But before we get there, I wanna show you up here, we have some features you can click on and get to. We also have a timer as well as, yes, you can play music, set up some voting systems. You can even find templates you can directly add into your Fig Jam that are for the classroom. There's an area up here for comments, over here, you can name your files, look at your file's version history, and you can even up in the top right, share your file with students. Now the toolbar. This is my favorite place to be in a Fig Jam. You have your navigation features, you have pen tools, highlighters, washi tape, all sorts of goodies. You have shape tools with dozens of shapes to choose from. You have sticky notes. You also have the mores tab, which is chock full of goodies. We got ourselves stickers, templates, widgets, all sorts of great things. You have the text, connector tools, stamps, emotes as well, which are really fun. And then you have sections and lastly, tables. And that's the toolbar. I'm going to walk you through a few key features you will need to know to be successful in any Fig Jam file you're in. The first one is sticky notes. You can grab sticky notes from the toolbar down here. You can also, if you have an existing sticky note on the canvas, click on it, click the blue dot, and then type your text into the field. Once you have your text into the field, you can highlight that text, you can change its size, you can change the type of font that it appears in, you can even bold, strike through, and do many other things. The next thing you're going to want to know to do is add stamps. Stamps are a great way to show your appreciation, stoke, and excitement over someone's idea or whether or not you agree or disagree with someone's point of view. Lastly, in this section, I'm gonna show you emotes, which are a really fun way to get the students engaged to show your thinking in real time and maybe even get those conversations and lessons to be a little bit more exciting. Go down to stamps, you can find both stamps emotes here, and enjoy. The next feature, one of my favorites, is stickers. Go down to your more bar, you can go into stickers, it's right next to templates, type in what you'd like, and it's a phenomenal idea to add these to your canvases. You can share feedback with stickers, you can label and annotate, and just customize files as you'd like. Next are the shapes and connectors tools. You can grab shapes down here in the bottom. You can choose from a plethora of shapes that we have provided inside of Fig Jam. Once you have the shapes you'd like to go and continue with, click on a shape, click on that button that appears right next to it, click add another and type in your text. You can then move the shape around to the position you'd like. You can even type inside of the text right here, which is really nice. And you can keep building out your process charts and not be slowed down by the process of building them. And once you get the hang of it, your process maps and flowcharts can almost look as snazzy as this middle school example. Here in Fig Jam, we support images and GIFs. A GIF can be played right on side of your canvas, and images have a ton of different things you can do with them. I can multi-select these two images here and give them a background to really make them pop off of the canvas. I can also go into any one of my images and I can change the type of border or the type of cropping property that that has. That's images and GIFs. Sections are another feature you will need to know to organize lessons and activities inside of Fig Jam. To grab a section, you can go down here to sections and you can click and drag and make that section the size you would like. I'm gonna name this section resources. When you have a section, everything that is inside of that section will remain inside that section wherever you move it. And if I were to zoom out, the names and labels of these sections remain consistent so you can see them from far away. And last but not least, we got widgets. Imagine little apps that live on side of your canvas. We got widgets where you can spin a dice, you can spin a spinner, choose that student at random, you can play rock, paper, scissors, you can even organize teams right away. And my favorite widget, which we're gonna end on here, is the photo booth widget. Click on the photo booth, take a photo of yourself, and I mean, what student isn't going to want to do that? To take it one step further, I can take this widget, I can go down here and find widgets inside this more panel. 
I'm gonna type in voice and bring the voice widget onto the canvas. You can then click on the voice widget to activate recording. Start recording and say something really fun, like I've lived in three different countries in my life. You can hit end. You can name the recording if you'd like to. You can make it a little bit smaller. You can shrink it down. You can hide the title. You can plop that on to your picture. And there you go. A little card about who I am. Nice little intro, maybe for a get to know you activity. So here's how all those features and functions might come together for you in a lesson. We got ourselves a story arc, and yes, I've added in some fun stickers just to make it a little more lively for my students. I organized each area of the canvas into a section just to give them prompting and clarity as to what they're supposed to be doing. And yes, you can play YouTube videos and add articles right inside of Fig Jam. You can also add in some workspace areas using a section and students can use the highlighter and pen tools to really get creative with their thoughts. I hope this was an informative Fig Jam 101 video for you. Please let us know in the comments what other features would you like to see and how else can we make content for you that helps you thrive in the Fig Jam world. Again, my name is David. Cheers.